a long time. What has been going on with me? Well, a lot. So, where should I start? Well, I've been working on my mine shaft down in that cave that goes into the entire whole abandoned mine shaft and all of that. I took a different approach this time. I it would actually be best if I showed you. Hang on. No, that's it. Ah! Ooh, okay. So, what I've been doing is I've been mining. Like, crazy mining. Okay, so down in here, I replaced all of these with a stairway so it makes it easier going up and down. And then we have the abandoned mine shaft here. What I've done is over here, I went down and I mined it. I mined all the way down to floor 11. That's where you find all of your, your gems. Guess what guys? I already found diamonds. We got five pieces of diamond. So I was gonna keep mining, but I ran out of torches, so I can't keep going on. But I found diamond, which is good. And the way I'm going to do this, as you can already see, is a three by three going in straight paths, but then every other three by three, I will be making more tunnels. So this thing will become almost a giant labyrinth maze, all just hollowed out. And hopefully, by doing that, you find ores and materials much easier than just doing a single strand. Hopefully you just run into diamonds by chance. No, doing a three by three and then doing every other three by three uh, tunnel is ingenious because it gives you more chances and there's no way you have a big area over here that you didn't mine that may or may not have diamonds. If by doing it this way, you have an evenly distribute of what is where everything is around you. So that's what I've been doing. But since I ran out of torches and I can't keep mining, I took a detour. I needed wood, but to get the sticks. Well, the one thing is I don't have any coal and I never found any coal in that mine shaft. So I made a tree farm and I got charcoal making charcoal. And hopefully this will keep me well supplied. I've been doing a lot of stuff, as you can see. I've, I've done a lot. <sighs> okay, uh, um, tree farm. I have to show you how I did this. It is a slow, painful process, but that is the best I can come up with for right now until I get more resources. Ooh, zombie died here. So what I did is I set up a five by five grid and I just expanded. So here's the start and it just, it goes. And for each tree that keeps growing, you shave it, you chop it down and then you replant it. So instead of going all in these woods and just cutting everything down and just placing them wherever, I'm placing them on a grid. Hopefully making this a little neat and not so clustered because when you're clustered and you're doing other stuff you you, you, you kind of tend to meet other people that you don't want to meet such as creepers which I do not like at all so oh, what's another thing that I've been doing uh oh after I get my hay, I'll show you what I've also been doing. I did say in my last episode that I was going to be doing some cleaning. Well, I am done with all my cleaning. 
and I made a second uh, mine shaft out of it. As you can probably guess, it is well neat and it's well well mined. Okay, so we'll go down in here. See, look at this. It's all clean. Cleanly cut. See? Cleanly cut. It, minus all that. I still have to go through all that. But you, you used to see all this odd bowl colors and everything just used to be everywhere. Now it's nicely clean. It's nicely lit. This is perfect. Like... I haven't touched anything over here because, well, here's where the other mine shaft came. And here's where I was working, but I, again, I ran out of torches and my pickaxe keep breaking, so I had to go back and make more. But I couldn't make any more because I ran out of wood to make torches. So, this is what I did. All, all the. This is what I've been doing. And now, since I have torches, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll go we'll go down here. I'll give you guys a little look about around what I've been finding. So I so I dug all of this out making a way up and in much quickly. This way I have not gone. And of course now there's coal, but I couldn't find it for the life of me, so I had to go and make it. Ooh! I'm not here. I don't exist. <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with me. Okay, so... Holy crap, this goes in one big circle. That's gonna be annoying. What's in this direction? Huh? Huh? Are you. You gotta be joking. Okay. So that's also a dead end, but. At least I have a couple of ways I could branch it out. I can go that way and branch out. I can go that way and branch out. I can go down in here. On this side. And and branch it out. Ooh. Alright, let this up and I already forget. Oh yeah, I can definitely come down here and branch out. So yeah, I could make several different mine shafts expanding everywhere, but right now I just I have to clean it all up. I might I've been actually thinking if I want to do a rail system for all of this. And if I do that, I would have to clean it and get redstone, which if I do that It'd be over in the other mine shaft that I found. Oops. Didn't mean to place that. Hi, Mr. Sheep. How you been doing, huh? See you later. But if I do that, it'll be over in that mine shaft, which Ooh. I am still working on, which I don't think you guys would be interested in me. Ooh, chicken. Da -da 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 Got the chicken. Okay, uh, off track. Um, what was it doing? Right, mine shaft. Okay, so what I would have to do is still work in that mine shaft and do three by three cuts. Every other three by three cuts. And I've been working in a small little notebook of how my design is going to work. And let me show you what I'm talking. So here's my first three by three. And you would skip one, and then you would do another three by three. 
break this. And then break this, and then you place your torch down. That's what I mean. Because then from this angle, I can see beyond this entire whole thing, which makes it very, 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 very handy. But again, I have to first dig out, expand, and then dig inward. And then everything will just slowly expand and grow. And that is my current plan. So from here on out, you probably, in the next video, you might see a much, much larger, Oh, that's sad. You might see a much larger uh, mining system that I have built because it's literally going to be expanding. Ooh, redstone already, nice. Hey, I can actually get the, the rail system already built up now if I wanted to. No, I need gold and that's, that's only one piece of gold. So I need more gold to do that, to make stuff a little bit automatic. So it's not just me running back and forth with the mine cart. It's gonna be automatically dumping and shifting items into chests and other stuff and moving around. And I still have to engineer all that out. So other than that, that's what I've been doing, so I've been busy. And for this entire whole mine shaft, I have no idea what I want to do with this. I have no... Hi. How are you? Okay, he whacked me. But I basically explored most of it, and... I just, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what I want to do with it. If I want to turn into something, if I want to destroy it and rebuild it into something much better or what? Oh no, I am stuck, where am I? Okay, hang on, let's think. Go through here, go through, ah, there we go. But yeah, that's all I've been doing. And I'm kind of debating if I want to make, get rid of this path and make this actually continue down or not. I don't know. How about you guys leave me some ideas on what I should possibly do or what you want to see built or done? Because, well, other than me trying to get my mine system up and running, uh, I could do other projects that you guys want to see. You want me to build something uh, simple, something huge, uh, build a redstone machinery. I, it's all up to you guys. What do you want me to do? Because, like I said, right now, my main focus is just that mining system, and that's that's about it. But other than that, you now know, you now have an update of what the heck's been going on. And I'll see you guys 